how much force is required to slide this 200 kilogram box across this surface. Now, you might notice that we have a coefficient of static friction given to us, which means there is going to be friction on this surface. Now, the way that you calculate the threshold for static friction is using this equation right here. The threshold for static friction is the coefficient of static friction multiplied by the normal force on the box. We actually derived this in a different video. So to solve this, let's go ahead and plug in the numbers. The coefficient for static friction is given as 0 0.25. The mass of the box is 200 kilograms. Assuming we are on Earth, gravitational acceleration is always the same. It's 9.8 meters per second squared. And we can just get rid of this cosine term since we're not on an inclined plane. Instead, we're on a flat surface. So if you take these numbers and throw them into a calculator real quick, you should get a value of 490 newtons. So the threshold for static friction is 490 newtons, which means you need to apply greater than 490 newtons of force to get this box to move.